Okay, uh, I did a Minecraft update, or I haven't done a Minecraft update in a long time. Last one was probably my tree farm. But, uh, this is a tour of the city I've built. I'll do a tree farm update in a later video. Um, I've built onto it quite a bit. Um, this is Minecraft. PlayStation 3 edition. Unfortunately, there's no more updates for this because they no longer really support it. And I don't have the money to purchase a PS4. That's just the way it is. So, as you can see, it's dusk. Um, you, you can see to the left here, the sun's going down. But, uh, any rate, the, this is the latest PS3 three updates. There's, well, there's fish in the water, there's dolphins, there's, uh, I haven't really done much with the, the hostile mobs, because I'm just building most of the time. Like I mentioned in a previous video, I play mostly on Peaceful. Um, I'm out on a dock next to my city. I just like to build, build, build. A lot of my builds don't get too elaborate, but this will also include my farm a tour of the farm because they're right next to each other so well here let me get this stuff out of my I was working on a project before I decided to do this but then again when are you not working on a project on this game well here we go there's my city there's a lighthouse. I'm going to scrap the top of that lighthouse and redo it because I think it's like the top's too small for it. There's a couple of buildings here. I have a uh, beacon a ways away on the other side of the city changing from red to blue. It's not very consistent, but it does work. I'll wait till I get closer to it. I got some villagers in here. This is just a building. I'm just using it as I need it. I don't leave doors shut. The villagers are the ones who always shut the doors. Up here, I've kind of developed this side. This room here is, well, anvil. This one is a library. That's this floor. The rest of the floors are empty. But they're, here, I'll give you, I'll walk around, uh, going the wrong way on this thing. There's a villager lost up here. A hey, dummy. Um, this is what each floor pretty much looks like. So, I'm going to go back down here. All the way to the top, pretty much. I keep forgetting the staircase on the ground level is a little different than the rest of them. And on the other side... There is the basement. This is where a lot of the villagers hang out. But in any case, that's the gist of this building. If I take this path here, I'll go to the... It's not really a skyscraper, but it is a taller building. This building is this floor all the way up. Nothing special. Not super tall. See, now it's blue. As you can see, a lot of villagers hide it. This is kind of a my version of a Minecraft museum. This room features all the trees that are available in this update. I don't know if anything more current is available. can't tell you. There's several floors. This is, as far as the physical structure, minus antennas and stuff, this is the tallest building. I've started doing, you know... Leather armor, iron armor, gold, diamond, and then the different horse armors. I haven't gotten very far in here. And I have a sign labeling what floor you're on as you go up and down the stairs. I'm going to get rid of this because my boy, he lied to me. Here's floor three is empty. 
floor four is empty. There's a reason that the ceiling is buried there. I put a mock for the top of the museum. I made a mock villager world, whatever you want to call it. A mock village, I'm sorry. No villagers live up here because they're too dumb to find their way up here. But they are in this building. I even built the little church. I went online to find di diagrams for them and tried to build them exactly as they were. Even got the little bit of lava in there. But there you are. There's that. That's the extent of this building. Grass ceiling. Well, it makes it enclosed and uh, I don't like being rained on. I am unpeaceful, so if I hurt myself, I'm okay as long as I don't die. There's a two-layer basement below this, which is pretty much a footprint of this building with no nothing built underneath. Man, there's a lot of them in here. These guys are freaking weird. I made kind of a concession stand here. There's a couple of buildings I've been working on. I haven't got any windows or anything put on them yet. Now that it changed. A little balcony and then this is the not the last tutorial update, but the second to the last tutorial update. I just hate when I get really into a world and they do an update and it changes freaking everything. This is supposed to be like my concrete slash materials factory, sort of. That's the idea. I'm going to be moving this, sit and get up here to the farm, eventually. It's for uh, cocoa beans. That's just random crap. Basic ingredients for concrete, for the most part. I know there's not everything, but most of it is. This here hasn't, building has not exactly been designated yet. I think it's pretty obvious probably what it is, but... Couple counters, there's a clock, you know. Then you go upstairs. A lot of glowstone. I've only worked on these few, one or two floors of this building. So it's just sort of a bathroom toilet area. Same deal on all of these, all the way to the end. I don't remember if I added to the floor above this or not. No, not really. I haven't done this one yet. I don't like building a snow region because the snow is annoying to build around. So I kind of stopped there. Oops, I should have gone all the way down. And this here. Go down here. Bunch of railways. Uh, I'll take a cart down and back real quick. I turned the mine cart sound off because I found it irritating after a while. And that goes to another area. I haven't opened those two yet. It's sort of a subway. For the city, anyway, because it's today's getting big enough. It's getting to be too much of a pain to walk around. We may alter them too, because having the cars that close to each other, and when you dismount one car, sometimes you knock the other one. That's pretty much that building. You tell me what you think it should be, or what you'd call it. This is just a random building that's built into the bridge here. No special detail. There's a lot of great food production on top of these buildings. I'll be taking them out because I now actually have a physical farm. This here is, I'm not profane, this isn't profanity, this is the dam. I'll show you what I mean. Actually. 
There we go. I'll just swim through it. It's all white concrete. I don't have a turbine in here and wasn't sure how to go about that. But on the bright side, you can get through this thing. Right here is the fish market, whatever. I didn't have much room because of there's a basement like almost right on the other side of that wall of another building. There's another floor below. This is just sort of fishing supplies. We sort of a market. And just the different items you can buy or catch with the fishing rail. May I should go back here real quick. This is this will take a minute because this is, there's a lot in this city. If I take the time, maybe I'll tag it or uh, put. I don't like the vi villagers coming in and out of my person, the space, my workspace. I don't care what they do with these buildings here. So I always put locking doors where I don't want them to go. This is future if I need it space. This is my base. Probably overkill in the storage. Um, and this goes to my mining operations that travel all over the place. But if you go out here, if you go in the other doors, it's just these buildings. Here's a, a church building. I'll probably come and make classroom space all over this building. Man, this thing can take a little while to tour. I spent a lot of time on this one. Oh, that's just a closet. There's a classroom. A lot of times churches will have class learning spaces. I haven't really decorated them per se. There's another closet with some of my supplies in it for this building. Some I do a lot of times is keep a small space nearby that stores materials. Same deal here. If you go this way, Another room here. There's this. It's the only one with a closet. There are closets, but it's the only room with a closet. You can either go through this room, or you can go around this way. This is back to that room. Go upstairs, go outside, and get rained on. with stained glass windows. Here's the main sanctuary. There's a pulpit, cross, all that stuff. I got here, you open these up, you got a baptismal. You can get baptized. Well, that's really weird. Anyway, um, that's one of the, part of one of the updates because that used to actually be able to save your breath. But the reason our smoke come out of the floors there's torches right under there because it looked tacky with torches everywhere. There's two balconies and there's a stair system to get to those. That's pretty much the church. There's a classroom on each floor too, taking advantage of the space. I'll go up to the top here. Feel free to skip around this video. It is going to be a little lengthy. Just for the city it is. Oops, I passed that door, didn't I? 
that is a little annoying if it ain't. This is where you can get to, I suppose, maintenance to the top of the church. Underneath this roof is the sanctuary. This and all this area is pretty much the classrooms and such. Then you can go all the way up here for church steeple maintenance. Get up here. Actually get a decent overview of the whole city. Actually, church might actually be the tallest building. Interesting. Minus that tower. See, isn't that ridiculous how small that is on there? It's like a little, I don't know. I would jump down to save time, but I'd rather not die. Of course, that's access to the top floor of the sanctuary. I do have a time saver here, kind of. This don't kill you. Now I go shut that front door. It's the only building I try to, it's one of the few buildings to try to keep doors shut. This house here, spent a lot of time on it. Walk all the way around the outside, the flowers, a shed. I built some of the yard over the top of the fish market. Soul sand, so it's like a jacuzzi, kind of. A little staircase down here. There's the lighthouse again with the ridiculous light. Only thing I really haven't done to if I were to sell this, I say such and such house with unfinished basement. Maybe one day I'll add to that. I was in have I just put pictures everywhere. I hate they don't let you choose what the pictures are. There's the refrigerator. Very weird door, I guess. There's an oven. There's like a oven in the well, you know, count island oven sink. Not hundred percent spot on, but Here's one bedroom. I do like to come here and shut doors on my more polished buildings. Sorry about the belching of my furnace. For some reason the air return, they thought it was a good idea to have the cold air return in the living room. This goes upstairs. Here's a bedroom with a closet. Some pictures. I think I put one here or there. Yeah, I did. I didn't put no handrail because, well, by the time you put a handrail there, you can't. There's nothing you can do. Supposedly, uh, this will, I guess it will be a bathroom or something. I haven't really done much with toilets and such. There's that. Big picture up here. This would be like the master, sort of. With their little chest. Oops, that wasn't good. I'll just get that out of my hand. There's the bed. Can't sleep. That's me most nights. Anyway. Oh yeah, I forgot there was that room over here. Even though garage door, there's no cars in Minecraft. I built in a garage anyway. Even got a workbench in the garage. That's supposed to be the door. Don't work. It's just what concrete, I think. Or maybe it's quartz. Concrete don't really have. You can't really see the individual square. Well, it could be concrete. I don't know. This is just a little basic house. This is supposed to be like a restaurant of sorts. Around this side. Future work here. <sighs> well, maybe I should do this last area down here before I go too far. I made a tunnel. There's a parking garage. There's an apartment building.
I, I like it. There's the rest of the city. Again, sorry for the lengthiness. I'll try to put uh, timestamps to hop around if you wish. This has a pool. Eventually I make access between the garage and here. Probably a staircase to the upstairs. This here, this is just a piece of the mountain. I decided to make this, well, look. Maintenance, authorized personnel only. Hence the door button. A little space to sleep and such if you need. and Just extra room if needed. I don't know anyone. Well, the amount of people playing PS3 is disappearing. There's a little lag in it, so sometimes it's white for a little bit. But it's supposed to be red and blue. But kind of cool, red, white, and blue. I thought it'd be a little ornery. Criminal activity will not be tolerated. Violators will be completely blown up. Signed, the Creeper Squad. Seemed appropriate. Let me go upstairs. Okay, this was the apartment building. That's where that beacon, that multicolored beacon is. This here's my, uh, my farm. Got about every crop here except for, uh, cocoa beans. This, of course. I'll do a basic tour, because each of these apartments are pretty much a carbon copy of the next. Couple rooms. Two floors below our living space. Here's a couple more rooms. Hmm. I hate the rain. Have I mentioned that? Unless only way I can turn it off is to this is all survival. It's my favorite way to play. There's a interconnected basement with levers on both sides so you can keep your neighbors out or you can let them in. There's a deck out here. I'll show you this real quick. Just be really careful. I'm not sure it's exactly survivable though. You can hear the thing working now. Here's another limited access area. Basically, that's the yeah. It's not 100 percent. Made a little lag on the color change there, but it's kind of a fun deal. Yeah, I'm not so sure jumping off is a good idea. There, as long as you keep it still. I can get off now. Alright. <laughs> Diving boards. I don't want to dive down because it take too long to get back up. Alright, let's uh, tour the farm a little more thoroughly. I'll definitely put a timestamp for this. Pumpkins, watermelons, carrots, beets on the other side of the carrots. Potatoes, of course the beets. And the wheat, which was just harvested not too long ago. This is a malfunctioning thing I did. I actually have some of that. Let's see if I can get make this thing work again. Oh, that's right. Just 
just some experiment I was doing. It kind of led to that. But as you can see, this is a little complicated. And if you walk too far away, it gets all jammed up. And this is pretty much it for the city. Sorry if it's a little long. Uh, one building I'm working on. Haven't quite gotten too much done with it yet. But there you have it. Let me know what you think. Sorry the video's a little long, but here it is.